Sunday. Welcome back. If you're new here, we are the Van Wives. We are a female couple traveling in our van with our two doggies, Bella and Izzy. We are in the state of Oaxaca in Mexico. The camera is tilting. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're on a very windy road We right are now. on a very windy road right now. It's been a snake the whole way. We've been on the road for two hours. We are headed to a jaw-dropping, breathtaking location to adventure a little bit. We need, uh, we are in need of an adventure. We might even be able to stay there. Uh, by the looks of it on Overlander, we might be able to camp there for the night, so. It's gonna be a change for a backyard. Yeah. Stop for a little pee break with a view of the mountains, the agave, and this agave is actually different than in our other vlog. All well, this agave is actually to make mezcal. Should we go back? Get, get back on the road, Izzy? Izzy says no. One last roll around. <laughs> Good girls. Everyone's in positions except for one little girl. Are you driving us? <laughs> she doesn't want to give up her spot, eh? I think she thought I was serious when I asked her if she wanted to drive. Come on, Izzy, over here. Come on, Izzy. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move her. <laughs> Look at this dog. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Come on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're one of a kind. You just want a belly rub. We've just arrived and we're definitely staying the night so we're gonna camp out right here and overlook the mountains in the backdrop. There's actually a ton of tourists down in the pool right now enjoying themselves so I think that we're gonna hang out in, the, in our home for a few hours, make some lunch and then enjoy it later this evening. to say it's pretty nice having a van wave lunch is ready the backyard is set up that's the sound of no propane we're cooking on our camp stove <laughs> we're having beans with tortilla chips jazzy's new favorite meal i love it We are hanging out watching the sunset at Yerve del Agua. That's where we're camped out for the night. We're just like an hour and a half outside of Oaxaca City and it's so beautiful. Dropping for sure. Yeah. Like, so 
so beautiful. It is jaw dropping. It is such a fantastic spot. And there's these really neat pools that are hanging over the cliff. And I guess it's like mineral water was pushed out of the limestone and created this like calcium deposit, which now there are honestly almost a hundred different pools everywhere. And they're still bubbling out of the earth. It's really neat. They're called petrified waterfalls, so it's trickling down the edge and creating what looks like a waterfall, but it's natural formation. It's just rock. It looks like a waterfall, nature. but it's rock. It's nature, and there's only two in the world, and we're at one right now. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So what do you think the sunrise is going to look like? Exactly, that's the question. Oh, I can't wait. And this is just like a five minute walk. Top camp spots for sure. Yay. For sure. Let's head back to the van. Yeah. <laughs> Vamos. You clearly don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> no, it's nighttime. Get me out of here. <laughs> Have a good time. I love her smiling face. And since we're closing up shop, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> you didn't even hit the screen. <laughs> really? Chris, that again? was Crystal's first time. <laughs> No, 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 I'm putting that no, in there. No, no, no. Let's just do it again. <laughs> hit it again. <clears throat> we'll put in your good one. Just, you, don't need to, you don't need to say it again. Just hit it again. And since Here's your redemption. Ready? <laughs> Let's see if you can do it. And since we're closing No, up I'm not. Oh, I'm actually putting that in, Crystal. <laughs> you don't have to. Good morning yet. I've been so sleepy. We got up extra early. I think we'd be the only ones here. However, a lot of other people have the same idea. Yeah, it's like we have the big tuna van. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> You're a natural. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> We're gonna stop right now. Start a vlog right now. Here, do you want to take your iPhone? You want it? Yeah, no, it's so yeah. big. It's so big. What's up, guys? Oh, look at you go. That is a classic. What's up, guys? Yeah. It's an easy one. That doggy okay. wants to get to do This is their doggy, Jack, as well. <laughs> they have a cat, too. Hi, Jack. Hi, buddy. Oh, Hi, Jack. Beauty. That was definitely a van life high. So incredible. It's what we live for. And definitely exactly what we needed. With the highs also comes the lows and they are very drastic in van life. Extremely. The last week we have been in and out of Airbnbs and hotels. It's definitely been the toughest week on the road yet. Mm -hmm. uh, due to our tents in our pulley going and it went when we were at the most beautiful beach we have ever seen in our lives. <laughs> it was a little bit of a tough time but we did get it fixed. Mm -hmm. It took about seven days to get the part and that's why we were posted up in a hotel. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we also found out that there is another part on our van that needs to be repaired soon. So we're being proactive and that's why we're here now. We're headed to Oaxaca, City. stopped here for a little bit of sanity, a little bit of adventure, a little bit of sunset and sunrise. <laughs> we're gonna get the part, we're gonna be back on the road. It already feels great to be back on the road, just here, not in a hotel. Yeah. Um, but also while our van was at the shop, we didn't have it for a week and I feel like our van is falling apart. It is falling apart. The electrical <laughs> system is taking a beating. Yeah. Fridge is at, sitting at 18 degrees Celsius, which is a hot summer day in Canada, yeah. as well as all the hinges and the doors are falling off from all the bumpy roads. So we have a little bit, we're in the midst right now of just Let's go fix it. everything. Let's just go right now. <laughs> we got stuff to do. So what we've done to make our fridge work in Mexico is take every other plank off so that way the three fans are able to breathe because they're letting out a bunch of hot air and it's actually gone down to 10 degrees Celsius. Woohoo! 
But what else we're going to be doing is we're going to install another 12 volt fan so that way we can attach the fan up here and it can be blowing right down on it whenever it's really hot out. So all I'm doing is taking primary wire, putting uh, O-rings and spade connectors on the ends of them and then connecting them to this 12 volt plug and then also the fuse box and the bus bar and I'm labeled, labeling them with electrical tape, red or black for positive or negative so I know where to put them. The moment of truth. Yes! Happy fridge! Yay! So, let's see what it goes down to now. Good job. Thank you. That'll be so good for ventilation. And this one can even go on low too, so it won't take too much power. And maybe when the fridge is cool, we can use it for us. So we'll have double the fans. Next on our to-do list is fix our broken hinges. It's gotten really bad, eh? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh. Let's make some bracky. I'm hungry. I'm starving. We need to clean up first. Time for breakfast. What? This is our all time favorite breakfast, and we're having it on the go. We'll see you in Oaxaca. to Mercedes in the city of Oaxaca and it's absolutely insane. There's vans everywhere, huge Freightliner trucks and buses. They're definitely going to be able to help us out. Just a little update on what's going on. They actually got us in for a same day inspection. They're checking out the van right now. They let the dogs in the waiting room to wait and they even asked if they wanted water. Rocky's grandchildren. Another mechanic told us that a part in our van was going bad and so we came here to get it checked out. They did all the diagnostics and basically told us that there is no issue with the water pump. Power steering pump. Power steering pump. <laughs> Thanks honey. But the actual issue is our tires and in the past someone, another mechanic let out air and it just is a Because Because he put them to factory. Yeah. And we have altering tires, so they need to have more air in them, and so they've worn quicker. Uneven. And so now we have like an uneven problem, but it's nothing that actually causes a real issue. We also went to go pay, and it was free. <laughs> come to Mexico and come to the dealership. Wow. Thank you, Mercy. Yep. Let's, right, let's get it. Good news. Back to reality. We suck at high fiving. Are you excited, Fuji? You don't like the city anymore, eh? What do you think about chores? I don't have to do Boring. anything. Boring! Today is a day of getting stuff really done. <laughs> have been staying right at this place right here. It has plenty of great reviews. So we are headed there right now. It's just one of the centers in this beautiful little city.
Jazzy's making us a lovely dinner with our full propane tank. <laughs> it's been so long. Wow. We honestly are just really craving vegetables. So we have some sauteed kale, soon to be sauteed, with tomatoes, mushrooms with vegetable stock, and then we're just gonna have a nice simple pasta because the restaurant right across from us is making us super jealous of all the Italian smells we're smelling. So we're just having fettuccine noodle with olive oil, basil, a nooch. Yeah, it's very simple, but delicious. I made it for Crystal, I think like when we first started dating, like three years ago. And she asked me what this was because she thought it was like gourmet. Like she's like, this is gourmet pasta. What is it? So, so we call this our gourmet pasta night. We joke it. It's, it's like my favorite <laughs> meal. I love it. I can't wait. <laughs> Is it as good as it was the first time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Thanks, honey. Come. So this is where we've been staying in Oaxaca City. Hardin Park is beautiful. Look at this. And where did the day go? It went by so quick. I know. Day this of chores. Is, this is the reality of van life. Sometimes you get to have your doors wide open and in the city you have to have them closed. And this spot is really awesome and really safe, but we're in the city and sometimes you're at a Walmart and that's just the way it goes, right? This is the reality of van life. However, all these spots and all these chores do get you to the most beautiful places, which, come on, there's just a bike, or that, which is definitely van life highs. And it's not even that these are lows, it's, this is the reality of this lifestyle. I hope that we showed you the reality well and that you realize that it's not always just beaches and if we only showed you the highs on all these beaches we would never get anywhere we hope you enjoyed this week's video of coming along for all of the tours and the things that we do to get us to the beautiful places that we go sorry the girls are meeting a friend I have a right now. On my <laughs> and remember to please hit the subscribe button give it some pause up because it makes a huge difference to grow our community Anyways, we'll see you next Sunday, Pack. See you next week. Ciao.